Before we check in with meteorologist Katie Frazier, take a look at the time lapse captured by photojournalist uh, by photojournalist Sean Felice. It shows the strong winds and dust blowing sand across many parts of the borderland. You can barely even make out the Franklin Mountains in the background. It is also knocking down some power lines in some areas. Let's bring in ABC 7's Katie Frazier now. She's reporting from San Rosario where some of those power lines were downed, including one at a home. Katie. Well, that's right, Eric. And right now I'm standing on hole in the road, uh, hole in the wall road rather and Socorro road which is the road where all those power lines snapped many of them have fallen and El Paso electric crews are trying to work on them right now as we speak we were standing earlier in front of the house where that power line snapped right on top of it but we were told to move just so they could keep on working at that house now I'm gonna go ahead and stop step out of the shot. These winds are very strong today. As you heard in the four o'clock show, these are tropical storm force strong winds and you can see the splintered wood and the power lines on top of the house on Socorro Road. Many of the poles, as I mentioned, have been snapped into two. Just seeing the splintering. Now, what happens if a power line falls on top of your house? Well, I talked to an El Paso electric spokesperson and he gave me this bit of advice on how you can stay safe. When you see a downed power line or a damaged electric pole or any uh, electric infrastructure that looks damaged or not performing or functioning correctly is to stay away. Um, there is a what we call the 10 foot rule. Basically, you stay 10 feet away from any type of damage, whether it looks damaged or, or whether you're unaware of its damage or not. Just stay away. The more distance you can put yourself between yourself and that type of uh, damaged infrastructure, the better. So you heard it here first. You're supposed to stay at least 10 feet away. You can see we are definitely staying plenty of space away from all of these down power lines. And you can't even tell if these power lines are live or not. I'm sure at this point they are not live, but he also told me you cannot even tell. So it's just best to stay away from any of the power lines. I'm going to toss it back to you guys reporting live on Socorro Road, Katie Frazier, ABC 7. All right, Katie, stay safe. And we want to continue our complete first alert coverage with ABC 7's Rachel Phillips. She is also on Socorro Road, just down the road from Katie, where those dozens of power lines in the area were down throughout the day. And while others were leaning, leaving thousands without power. Rachel, how are things looking now? Well, Steph, I mean, just look at the damage and destruction down here. You can see this pole completely snapped in half by those strong winds. And then if you come back even a little further, you can see all those poles completely flattened on the ground. Thankfully, they fell this way instead of falling onto the street. And then even further down the road, you can actually see some of those poles are straight up in the air. Thankfully, they weren't damaged by these winds. But in total throughout the day, there was a point where there were 23 power poles that were down and another six leaning due to these strong winds. You can see just how powerful they are. Look at this one, snapped in half, and then this one uprooted from the ground. The impact on these lines caused more than 1,000 homes to be without power in the Clint and Socorro area. San Elizario High School also lost power for a moment there, but it has now been restored. The first down power poles were reported at about noon today, but within about three hours, El Paso Electric managed to restore power to approximately 900 homes, and they're working to restore the rest. Now, as you can see in the distance, EP Electric crews are still working on the scene here. We keep seeing them actually drive up and down Socorro Road, moving to new areas as they see more damage being done. They've actually brought in additional crews to try and get these power outages to be completed. In total, those 29 power lines that have been damaged throughout the day, they're going to have to restore every single one of them. Right now, there are at least 200 homes without power as well, so crews working tirelessly to try and get those poles back up and restore power in the area. Another thing of note, though, if you are driving in the area, obviously be careful because of those strong winds, but on top of that, there are some roads that are closed as well. But for now, Reporting live from Socorro, Rachel Phillips, ABC 7. All right, Rachel, and stay safe as well. And remember to share your weather photos with us.